Look at just this one simple portrait of St. John Paul II here. In fact, maybe this tells it all. It's immediate, his hand does not leave the paper, and he captures the entire personality in one moment. Now, I was very, very lucky to follow Franklin McMahon in Rome for Vatican II. He was the artist in residence for three years. Luckily, he left. Then I got to come in for one year. Now, believe me, my work doesn't look like this. I am a, 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 an expressionistic painter. I try to gather the whole uh, work of, of the council in the language of my peer groups, my, my other artists, paintings and, and drawings. And it would be interesting someday, Kathleen, to put the, put the two side to side. My, my a little attempt uh, over one year and Franklin's over the three years and then a lifetime of this. Um, I, I only do things I don't know what to do. <laughs> Franklin does things he knows how to do. So I went to Vatican II to uh, uh, learn this expressionistic technique. And so it, it, was a, it was a challenge. But here you have a master who is able to pinpoint the moment. And believe me, it was a, it was a moment that um, unlike any other moment in our history. It may, be the, it may be the turning moment when one looks back at the history of hope of Vatican II because it really did have the infusion of the Holy Spirit on 3,500 bishops gathered together and their Pariti, which added more to that. The pretty ones are the smart ones, <laughs> who accompanied him and told him what the Latin was really about. <laughs> uh, and so they uh, uh, were, were almost innocent in this space, as was this man, being among them. When I was there, Paul VI was Pope. Franklin was there both under John the 23rd, St. John the 23rd, and Pope Paul the VI. Um, and so he was an equal participant. And that's what the council was made up of. Counselors, every bishop equal to another bishop. The Bishop of Rome, equal to every other bishop, except that he is the leader of those bishops, infused with the, with the grace of guidance. So uh, that is what's captured here. Look at the difference, though, between the joy of these paintings and the complete tragedy that are in those three. They're worked, they're heavy, there is sorrow, there is no personality to that. So Franklin was able to tell spirit and tragedy at once. That's the magic. Thank you for letting me. Oh, thank you, John. See this work gathered that you've done so well. Thank you. Thank you, John.